This is the Birch Tree Designs Secant. And this knife is on loan to me from Hero Sticks. And I'm really psyched to have it in hand. It's a pretty amazing knife. Before I get into it, just want to thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and uh, remind you to subscribe if you like uh, cool knife content. And the best stuff we do here on this channel are interviews with makers like uh, this gentleman, who I have not spoken with yet, uh, but I have uh, years and years of interviews with uh, some of the top makers out there. So check it out and subscribe if you're not already. Anyway, so this is the Secant. Thank you so much, uh, Hero Sticks, for loaning this to me. It's a beautiful Tonto clip point Tonto or harpoon Tonto. Who knows? Uh, but it is a beautiful Tonto with a single bevel going through it and a recurve. I don't know. Do you call it a Tonto? I think I'm going to call it that. Hard to say. Uh, this is made by Riot, and it has just a positively luxurious feel to it. Uh, this is the kind of action that if I have my choice, that's what I like. Uh, I'm always impressed by knives that just f fall shut without any, um, without any friction whatsoever. But I prefer this sort of gentle, smooth drop. And um, so this knife has that in spades. But just a beautiful knife. I don't really know anything about it or birch tree designs. Uh, but I'd like to find out more uh, having this in hand and remembering seeing this when it, when it dropped a while back. It's really nicely, thinly hollow ground. Um, Riot is known for their beautiful hollow grinds. Uh, not only are they thin and even and perfect, but they look good too. Very thin, very sharp. I have not used this or carried it um, as it's not mine. And I don't want anything to happen to it. Look at that point. That's a point that I could, I could really break. <laughs> I could do a great job on that tip dropping it on my concrete floor. Beautiful thumb swale up here, really feels nice when you have your thumb pressed in there. M390 blade steel, good jimping here, perfect jimping there. Uh, like I like that kind. It, it is not so grippy, it's more of an index thing and more of a backup to that swale. Nice uh, thumb studs give you good purchase and uh, just enough clearance to pop that thing open. It's a bolster lock. I think I prefer bolster locks to frame locks. I like having that material there, uh, which disallows you from exerting any pressure on that lock bar when you're flicking it open or flipping it or trying to or slow rolling it. This knife, for instance, beautifully slow rolls. Can't say that for most. Um, Frame locks, at least for me. I don't know, maybe it's my hands, but doubt it. Very nice tan canvas micarta and a beautifully sculpted clip. I like the shape of that. It complements the overall shape. Such a beautiful profile. I would like to have this knife, period, but I would like to have this knife uh, larger. This is one, two, three and a quarter inches long. Um, how cool would this be at four? or three and three quarters inches. Um, it would it would be very cool. I'll answer that for you. Uh, the ergonomics here, I don't know if they would translate larger though, because this fits really nice. Um, my medium hands fit nicely in this three finger well, and then you've got a, uh, another spot for your uh, pinky there. Uh, very, feels really good. And look at how that recurve kind of brings that sub tip down, perfect for Cutting, clearing the knuckle, you know, you clear the knuckles, you can cut into a box really well without involving the knuckles. And then you could use that whole, that little hooking area and then that whole sharp edge. That, of course, would translate nicely into a um, uh, self-defense situation if need be. But of course, this is kind of a robust, heavy-duty, gentlemanly knife. You know, you're not bringing this to the construction site, though, though it would it would do a fantastic job. It's as stout and sturdy as they come, but it's really nice, and you're, you're probably not going to want to do that. Um, 
but you might have it in your pocket uh, when you go to that fundraiser. And when you leave, then that guy recognizes that it's a fundraiser and that you might have money on you and he pins you up against the wall. You know, right here, this might work out well for you. Um, of course, all of that is a joke. Uh, but I always look at things through that lens anyway. It's just my interest um, in reverse grip. It feels great. Great place for your thumb. Um, so... Maybe this isn't so gentlemanly. Maybe this is kind of a brute. Look at that blade. That's kind of a tactical blade, right? Incredible point with great penetration with that swedge. It's basically like a dagger point minus a cutting edge on the swedge. So great penetration, great slashing up here with that upswept tip. Really nice uh, uh, catching recurve uh, style cutting here. nasty looking creature there in the logo i think that's a snake i mean yeah maybe this is a tactical knife and not so gentlemanly but man is it beautiful beautiful knife uh great action very fidgety uh wow it just pops open like nothing i'll tell you riot knows how to build a knife and uh birch tree designs knows how to design a knife let's take a look at a couple of others uh, that, I don't know, popped to mind um, from my collection. The Vero Engineering Synapse. Kind of in the same size cat. Yeah, about the size, same size range. Here it is with the Concept, Predi uh, Concept Pelican. Titanium frame lock. This is a little bit smaller, I think. But there you go with a kind of exotic looking uh, Tonto shape. Here it is with it. True gentleman's knife, the uh, the tactile rock wall. Take a look at it with the black mamba, the M390 titanium frame lock from Off Grid Knives. Oh, and for size comparison, here it is with the RSK Mark One. Did I bring this out? I don't know. I've shot a couple of videos today. I can't remember. And then uh, PM2. Just in case. This is, uh, oh man, this is more of just a, a close-up look and a, and a tour of this beautiful knife. Thanks again, Hero Sticks. It is greatly appreciated. Love having this thing in hand. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. All right, thank you all for watching.